everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to another super duper exciting episode of Super Duper Life is Strange. Last episode, we did some snooping all around in Victoria's room. Oh no, and I'm gonna probably regret all the things when I leave this room, and Nathan is standing right there. <gasps> He's not! Cool. Didn't see that coming. I told, I thought 100% that I was gonna get busted big time, but I did not get busted big time. Is there, is there anything changed? No. She's just brushing her teeth forever. <laughs> For years and years. Alright, well, we've done everything we need to do here. Oh, you know what? Oh, we didn't we didn't read my journal last episode, did we? Dang it. I also want to check what I need photos of. Pictographs, as you will. Where am I meeting, Chloe? I forget. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of uh, me. There we go. Alright, let's uh oop, tab. That's a button I want to press. That's a ooh, oh my god, that is a lot of pages. Alright. Uh, is there? Okay, yeah, actually, she got a lot of text. Max, wish you had popped the cat. Frank's ass tag, gave him the gun. No clue. I do not wish that. Neither do you. Is it too late to rewind? Sorry about. Okay, I hope you're okay. This eclipse freaks me out. Oh, you know what? I bet this is the uh, the text you got in class where I clicked at the chick on my phone that I got yelled at and I never got to check. <clears throat> this clip freaks me out. Let's find out what's going on together. <laughs> so cheesy. Hey, Max, just thinking about you. you. Want me to leave you alone? Yeah, I like how she didn't like respond to that. Wrecked, shaking with nerves. I'm sorry, but you did what nobody else would. So I hear. At least I got Nathan, Nathan Prescott suspended. Dude, you're a boss. Listen, something weird and scary is going on at Blackwell. It's time for us to put the pieces together. Cool. I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Get that ass in gear now. Joyce is just has a giant chin. <laughs> uh, okay. A, a trophy. Hmm. I feel like that would be in, like, Kate's room or something for some reason. Um, a squirrel. Oh, the squirrel! I bet he's going to be here because there's fireflies. Fish tank. Bird statue. Smoking equals death. Is that, uh, Frank? Was that his name? The guy, the guy with the knife? A birdie. Looks like a car or something. Car grill, an ant and a feather, and Joyce and what's his face standing together. Whoa, oh, I see. Jesus, I still can't believe she jumped. It was here, right? Yeah, it's up there. I'm surprised there's no like, uh, what is that? Oh, it's a sprinkler. So there's no, uh, welcome to Slots R Us. There's no like tape around here and they have to like use the other door to get out or something because you know she did just oh never mind I was gonna say, is that the blood but no there's no way she jumped like right there it's very weird they clean that up pretty dang quickly <gasps> squeal hello squeal let me take your picture little guy oh it's unlocked I that's weird wasn't around. why am i in here <laughs> under what circumstance uh, Samuel was so into runway fashion. That's not why I was looking at this. This guy's like Max. I'm not gonna freak that. Oh yeah, I, I never checked the other text, did I? Private number. Hey, whore. Fem Nazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Cool. Wonderful story. Um. Hey, Max. Don't want to bother you. Just check and see how you are. I know today was hard, but you did more than anyone else could have to help Kate. <clears throat> I'm proud of you, and please, no worries about going to the drive-in, but if you want to escape to a planet of apes, let's go. And if you need to talk, I'm always here. Thanks, Warren. I'm still processing Nathan got suspended, at least. I'll call you later, Kate. And then she never called him. The end. Oh, I'm honestly surprised that she didn't, like, text her number. Because, you know, that's, that's a thing people do when Nuts people die. Bolts. Like my grandpa's garage. In a parking garage. Nothing but tools. How am I in here? Nothing here. I just found like a knife. And Samuel is just like actually a serial killer. He loves killing cereal with his delicious, delicious mouth. What's that? I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Interesting. Why is there a tire in here? It's a weird thing to have in here. Is that it? I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Silky scarf. 
Or if Simon, oh, Squeal, there he is. Just hanging out, relaxing and maxing all cool and shooting some people. Oh, that's adorable! No! Squeal! Squeal, I wish I'd take your picture! I'm gonna just stand here. No, they're not gonna come back. That was adorable! The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. <laughs> Is there another squeal? Broken lamp? Why are you broken, lamp? Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Maybe not. Maybe that'd be a horrible. This place is bright enough, god dang it. It's Wawata. Um, there's not. No, never mind. I was gonna say there's not a squeal over there, but there's not. There's probably a way to get a picture of that squeal, but I couldn't figure it out. Uh, there's a lot of graffiti about Rachel, isn't there? Where's Rachel? Try to loot this garbage can like last time. Try to sit? What happens if I sit? Probably dialogue. Monologue time. There's monologue! Oh, you know, stuff and things. And I'm sneaking around. Not doing a very good job at that, by the way. I'm just kinda... This campus looks like a cemetery. Yeah. <gasps> the squirrel again. <laughs> Cough. A full moon. Is that all you got for me? Max. Alright. What? He was totally just on that bench, but now he's not. Probably, there's probably a way to get that squirrel to uh, take that picture of the squirrel. I mean, the the picture we can get is of a squirrel on a bench. I don't need to get that master photographer rank, photographer rank, photographer. No, I missed my opportunity. Dang it, he's not coming back, is he? Gosh dang it, Squeal. I tried clicking on you, it wouldn't let me. I couldn't take your picture. Hey. Right. Maybe we'll walk back here later. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Burn bright like a diamonds. Burn bright like a diamond. This is actually really cool. I like how there's like all this bush up here. Like right outside the school campus. That's really cool. Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Ah! He's right there. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Who that? Are they walking this way? I sure as hell hope not. Where'd he go? Look at me. Feeling sorry for himself when Kate Barch's family is in mourning. Why are you talking to yourself, dude? It's kind of weird. Sue the Academy right out of Oregon. Now I understand why the students call this place Black Hell. <laughs> Racism. What do I. Oh, well, I, I know what to do. Hello! Miss you have to be stealthier than that. Is he drinking? You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, you Principal know Wells. That. I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some. Kind of sounds like Bane to me. To I'm sorry you had to go through that today. Yeah, he's you drunk out of his mind. Help, but God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility, and I, I let her and Kate down. A little bit. Go on back Completely inside. Your fault. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Good night. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Uh, pretty easily, actually. Did you forget you have the freaking ability to rewind time? Good lord, lady. Go inside, freaking drunk guy. Can't we junk on school property like this? You're crazy, guy. You're crazy. Great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Oh, can you not get in? Is that why you just decided to sit down? Wait a minute. Can I... Was that squirrel going to be back over there? Oh, oh. <gasps> he is. Okay, get him now. Uh... J 
Jump, squirrel, jump, jump, squirrel, jump. Ah! Hello, little. No! You here to join me? <laughs> ah! Did I get him? Look at the lens and say nut. Gotcha. Awesome. I did it. Very happy about my life now. Yeah, okay. Someone texted me or some crap. Hello? Hello? Mom. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Max, please call us as soon as you can. We know this is painful and we want to know how you are, so please get in touch. And if you want to come and spend some time back home, the door's open and your bed is made. We love you. I'll call you right away. Love you. I'm so good to hear your voice. Remember what we talked about. You were there for your friend when she had nobody else and Kate made her own choice. Nobody can expect more than what you did. You're our hero and we love you so much. Maxine, call us anytime you need to talk or visit. Never. You're a horrible mother and I hate you. That should have been my text back to her because I'm an evil person. A very evil lad. Hello, Principal Wells. Guess what? I'm a, I'm a crazy guy. I'm a crazy girl. Really? He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. Yeah, that, I mean, you think he would think he would be a bit better at uh, hiding his alcohol, especially because he's he's a principal of a school, I mean college even, getting drunk on school grounds. He he would probably not only get fired, he'd probably serve jail time for that, right? You would think. Where is all this crap? Standing. Oh man, I'm gonna have to explore the entire campus. Anything else? I feel like Booyah! Oh my god, it scared me! Huh! Who get it? Boo yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. <laughs> like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump. Come on, that was kid. funny. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. <sighs> well, it's just trying to. Bitch, but I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was hmm. horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's going to bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players and players. find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop like the tornado be... from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? I feel like that's gonna be chaos theory. Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? Yeah. I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh right, except for your ability to. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm in space. No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Like killing a freaking Lisa. I just got God Nathan dang it. Spell. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Mm, about Rachel. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved She might in still be kid. alive. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't Freak know chameleon. Her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us <gasps> to the truth. She's the deer. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. Oh, be it careful with your she could be. Do you think she's... I don't know. Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best <laughs> scenario. She yeah. wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We Not have to very find often. Soon. We have to. I how she be missing? You like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. I feel like that's definitely a thing I should now know, but I don't know. Secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble. Sexual tension. Did I see that? Fuck anymore. We're in it to win it, Max. She stepped closer. Lead the way. I'm They're so definitely making out by the end of the series. As long as you're my partner in time. I'm Call on right now. Here. Do do do. Walking about. Walking about. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the Victoria. rest of the class will follow your lead. Mr. Jefferson. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm, like, still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. 
I really Look at that freaking Katie. I had no oh my idea God. that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the everyday heroes? Contest? Are you serious? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Harris <sighs> and Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. Oh, you interesting. Might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go huh. back to your dorm now. Wait! See... I only... Ah! Are you fucking kidding me? See, I was curious if what had happened... I thought maybe they had the sexual intercourses, but... I mean, they don't know we're here, so... Like, hey, fuck you, bitch. Victoria can't get any more evil. <laughs> Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. <gasps> Hand holding, more sexual tension. I'm just kidding. That, that's definitely not. It's really cool though to see the shots like um, directors can do Chloe the Keymaster. to showcase yeah. like stuff like sexual tension. Like they didn't do anything specifically, but you could definitely feel something more than just friends Dude, between them sometimes. I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Which is really not cool to, to me. Lead you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. Well, we could go to jail. You stole the key, not so. Not <laughs> to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers. Max. Well, they don't always work. Tell that to Kate. And judging by the Come preview, on. we saw One this. Door and our work here is done. Okay, let's explore a bit. Not every day we get to sneak around the school. I remember that was always kind of like a. Uh, so you can almost shoot somebody on Monday and party on Friday. <laughs> Prescott Powers. Yeah. Nerd alert! This poster has Warren written all over it. <laughs> this is always like kind of like a a fantasy of like I feel like every every like high schooler to like sneak in school overnight and no just trophy will help Blackwell's run around the halls and do whatever I totally thought that Skellington was a person a long time ago Nathan got smacked down yeah. unless there's like, so, like unless there's like something where the I'm, hell are you okay. Rachel Amber okay, let's take First a look Rachel at this and book. now Kate this is the end of the Vortex Club. I don't know what that means. They weren't. A, are the, they weren't a part of the. Or maybe Rachel was, but I don't. I doubt. I highly doubt Kate was. I mean, she got invited to the party, but that does not necessarily mean she was a part of it, right? Is that open? Oh, open. Hello. Hello. What do we got in the? Interesting. Most teachers I know will lock their doors. Exam file. <gasps> Can we freaking cheat? God dang it. Click the dang thing. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm. Oh, uh, I'm curious if, uh. If the reason why that's a thing, change grade. You deserve way more than this for taking on Nathan, but every little grade counts. Yay! I mean, I don't really. Can't really get busted for this unless they already put security biology. cameras. Oh, gross. Hello, well. A periodic table. Wish I knew what periodic means. A periodic is the time frame between a period and an odic. I never said they were great, troll. What? what wait, what did that? What did that little note say? Can I read it? Let's take a look at the graffiti again. I, I had sex with her mom. Great, troll. What a great! What a great! 
everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Eh, it's only fish. Good evening, fish fish. Fish fish! I wonder if her... Oh, okay, let's, ooh, let's, let's not leave any evidence behind. That would be not very smart. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Nice work. That'd be very stupid Please of me to uh, forget to turn that off. Although it'd be very interesting to see what would happen. Maybe I should leave it on just because things would be interesting. I get, I bet that's going to be a thing at the end of this episode. Like, did you leave any evidence behind? Mm, evidence behind? I don't know why I turned into Yoda for. Alright. Uh, we are past the 20 minutes here, but... Uh, I do want to get a little ahead here. Your locker looks so lonely. Oh, not really, but okay. <laughs> it looks, oh, that's the same classroom. It looks the same as any other. Oh, I thought there's some on the walls. These are actually very nice walls. Very fancy looking. Let's go inside Mr. Jefferson's room. I wonder what uh, Chloe's thinking about this. She's like, where the hell did Max go? Snooping about at the speed of stuff. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. I feel like we're going to be in this room later. I don't know why, but this door looks suspicious to me. Is that weird? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> this door of all doors. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Is that like... Firefighter, I don't know. I don't Daniel's know what, a better what's going illustrator on. than photographer, said Max, the art critic. Victoria, uh, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? That's not, is that really even that great of a shot? Eh. Yeah, you're getting a sneak peek. Victoria's cigarettes. I'm sure Jefferson is <laughs> impressed. I don't think so. Do -do 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 -do. All right, nothing else in here. That's unfortunate. I thought I was gonna get more dirt or something. It's yeah, it's very weird to me that no one locks their door. I mean, they lock the entire academy, but every school I've been to like if the teachers late for their own class which uh, I don't know how common that is for other people that happened a lot for me in like not only just high school but just school in general so maybe not elementary school I feel like they're they're a bit better there just because you know young kids can't it's kind of a bad idea to leave those people alone but uh, yeah every teacher I know always locked their door anyways thank you all so very much for watching this episode of life is strange um, in the next one you gotta go through that door and probably run into stuff. Someone's gonna come in here. We know that based on the preview at the end of episode two. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. If there's any games you want to see me play and Chloe's recommend, for me in front hey, of the yeah, yeah, I know, office. I know, I know. Actually, she's inside the principal office. You dink. Good lord. Oh, you know what? This might just be reception. That's just reception. Never mind. It's correct. Principal Ray Wells. Uh, yeah, if you want, if there's any games you want to recommend me playing, check out the top link in my description. It leads you to a video that. That lets you post game suggestions for me to play. Uh, let's talk to you guys next time. Bye. Oh, wait a minute. I got to read the, the the journal. That's right. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, morning adventure over. Chloe dropped me off back at camp. She's sweet and the best week of her life. Despite everything, it's made me feel awesome. Chloe you really sees us like we are, we're taking over the world. But if I hadn't been able to on time to get her for Chase, Chloe, Chloe might have lower expectations. And so will I. Speaking of expectations... David Madsen stopped to talk to me without being a total prick. I thought he was going to bust me for taking the heat for Chloe's weed, but we just talked a little, and for the first time, I felt sorry for David. He's a veteran. I know he probably saw awful things in combat. He said he doesn't want to fight with Chloe or me, but all the shit he pulled and treating Kate like she's a suspect just makes it hard to get along. But I promise to try for world peace. I definitely feel like there's more to Kate than meets the eye. Like, I don't think he would just yell at her for no reason, right? Those wings on her back. Angel wings. Something odd happened. As if everything happened isn't bizarro, but I saw Kate having an intense conversation with Mr. Jefferson, then she ended up practically running away from him in tears. I wish I could have casually asked, oh, by the way, what's up with Kate? Like, he would tell me anyway. I know Kate treats Jefferson like he's an apostle or something, so what did he say to make her so upset? 
Just when I was feeling so good about Chloe and me, I walk into Jefferson's class and see Nathan and Victoria actually sitting on my desk. Unreal asshole bookends. Kate Marshall killed herself. My hands are still shaking, but I have to write this down while I can. Right at the start of Jefferson's class, Kate went to the roof of the girls' dorm to jump. Every student and teacher was watching her like it was a Blackwell rooftop concert. I actually I saw her actually jump, but I was about but I was just about to but I was just about able to use my rewind power to get her back on the roof. I tried harder than I ever did, and somehow I stopped time completely. I made it to the roof, but again my head felt like it was gonna blow up. I knew I couldn't just keep rewinding to save Kate. I had to try and talk her down on my own. I failed. <sighs> I failed. She was already in so much pain over the video and all the bullying, so she wasn't going to buy everything. I tried to tell her, you see movies with people trying to talk about suicide, but it's very difficult when I'm the one doing the talking, but she didn't believe me, or maybe she didn't, just didn't want to. I, I tried. Kate still died. Aww. This is really cool, by the way, though. That little artwork of the wings sprouting. I, I, that is really cool. I like that. I mean, it's very sad, but I like it. It was like, Oh man, jeez, I might I'm gonna read this page and call an episode because 26 minutes. <laughs> it was like cli- it was like that cliche about everything moving in slow motion, except in the case it was in real time, not rewind time. I couldn't see Kate's face right as she jumped, and I'll never forget that look in her eyes, like she didn't want to, but she had no choice. It was a look of total defeat and despair. Then I could see her body flailing in space, like she did, like she became aware of what she was doing. And got more scared. Jesus, I can't believe I'm writing these words. After she jumped, it was so weird that I was alone on the roof. Kate was there. Uh, then gone. I could hear the crowd screaming below, and there was no way I was going to look at her body on the ground. I felt so numb. I just casually turned and went back down the stairs. My head was pounding. My body was exhausted from the rewind. I felt exactly like a zombie. Must feel dead inside. Take me back. Take me back. Kate. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!